na, 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 na. Hey, I'll tell you what, here we are at Door Peninsula Winery in Carlsville, where they've got a tasting campus of beer, vodka, gin, wine. And it's Mad Dog and Marrow's Midwest Grilling, so don't go anywhere. We're gonna do a great one today by the still. Hey, look at the still, Merrill. View past episodes of our show by going to maddogandmerrill.com and click on Midwest Grilling. All right, Merrill, up telescope, up, up telescope. Up, up, see if up, we can up, see the people. Up, there up, they are. Oh, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We are by a beautiful still, and we're going to yes. be talking with Paul, the still master, who brews vodkas and gins and cherry vodkas. Ooh. So we'll be talking with him in just a little bit, but here we go. Uh, we, uh, we are in Door County, Wisconsin. We are right. at Door Peninsula Winery in Carlsville. And upstairs and to the left is Bistro 42. And Bistro 42 is a great restaurant to dine. And they have an antipesto that is absolutely fantastic. But we're going to do a grilled one. Yeah, something different, completely different. And, and antipesto means before the meal. OK. In, in Italian, before the meal. And normally, the difference between hors d'oeuvres and antipestos is that the meal, the antipestos is served as people are seated and it's the beginning of the meal. Okay. It's the first course sure. of the meal, not standing like hors d'oeuvres and mingling and going to go get a wine or something like that. Well, I'd probably do that. Probably so. Probably. So I looked up the ingredients for antipestos, and normally it's, it's all created together and it's marinated together, but we're going to do a marinade and then grill them. I've got wonderful large green olives. I've got green peppers, celery, uh, zucchini, yellow squash. Uh, we have salami right there. We have tomatoes, black olives, artichokes, and pepperoni, mm. the, the, uh, the Italian uh, peppers, and I'm gonna put those all in a pan to be marinating, to get to be marinating. I'm gonna show you how to do this with some great vodka. And that's gonna be our acid that's gonna not necessarily break down the tissues of the meat to tenderize them, but to add some wonderful flavor of the liqueur of the, of the vodka. And I'm gonna put the meat and all in there, but I'm oh. gonna do that separately. You know, I'm loving this segment already. I know, it's gonna be great, <laughs> isn't it? And I'm sorry it. I'm wasting time and putting it all in here, that's but we're, okay. we're, we're, we're going to, that's what it's all about. That's right. Uh, you can do basil, you can do parsley, the recipe's called for. So I got a little parsley in there. I'm gonna add some jarred garlic today, a good tablespoon or two of jarred garlic. I've got Fat Louis garlic olive oil to help infuse that. We got Fat Louis garlic oil to help reinforce the garlic. So a couple good glugs, a lot of oil, a lot of oil in the antipastos. So we're gonna use a good quarter cup of the oil. And now the, from the Door County Distillery, uh, here at the, at the winery, we have their beautiful vodkas. Here, uh, try mine, I got mine done. Oh, I got it right there, thank you, sir. Okay, this so we're gonna crack mine. another bottle of vodka, and I'm gonna pour some vodka in there, and I'm just gonna give it a quick swirl, and all we're gonna do is marinate these vegetables for a couple good hours, and then I'm gonna put them on skewers like this, and then we're gonna grill them up, just a real slow, low heat for about 15 minutes, and it should be a grilled antipasto oh, that's good. delicious. Look at how beautiful oh, color that is. I love, it. I love the is. color, the oil really brings out the color oh, in all the Oh man, it's gonna be delicious. Hey, how about some tomatoes? Vodka tomatoes are very easy to do on the grill. I go ahead and got the grape tomatoes, I'm gonna do an acupuncture on them. I'm just gonna poke them all the way around, three or four times, see that? Well, that's a good idea, so yeah. the flavor goes in. Flavor goes in, stick that right in the middle. Place this, now I've got actually about two pints, mm. about a half a quart of grape tomatoes. This is a very easy recipe to go to use here. I got some jalapeno peppers, which is really going to add a really good flavor. It certainly is. If you wanted to, you could go ahead and take the vodka and go ahead and put the pepper right in the vodka to get a pepper vodka. But I'm actually adding the peppers right into the tomatoes. And then what you do is just use about maybe a cup or so for the vodka. I'm going to use a little bit more of that. There we go. It's going to be good. Oh, now, man. Now, you let that sit for two or three hours. Really do it overnight. But here, well, I'm going to do this. So taste those. Those are the ones I did earlier. Look at the ones he did earlier. Isn't that mm, delicious? The smell is just yeah. great. Definitely want to leave the seeds in for that. I better mm. not chew any. But mm. how is it? Good? The vodka and the jalapenos are delicious. Good. But good. let's bounce right over well, to the Let's bounce there. over. A little cherry mm. bounce. There again, I got about oh, mm. two pounds of cherries. One cup of sugar in there. And I'm going to use a little bit of allspice. Use as much as you like, but maybe about a teaspoon. This is cloves here. This is the allspice. About a teaspoon of that. And then about a, oh, some cinnamon stick. One cinnamon stick chopped up. And there again, you're going to wait about three months for this. All right? Three, three months. months. Till Christmas it gets a little bit stronger. I know, I know. I'm going to pour that in there. But what's great is we're not going to do this. We're going to leave this with Jamie. 
She gets all. Oh, this. good for you. Yeah. You know the the, uh, the the vodka that's that's served here, that's made at the Door County Distillery, is a very high quality, high premium vodka, and it's just absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to actually try it in a, in a true drink. But it is delicious to grill and to cook with liqueurs and vodkas. And and Door County Distillery has one of the better vodkas, best vodkas in the area. That's for sure. So Better we're going to be right back with Paul, the still master, and learn all about the still behind us. We'll be right back. If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Hey, Merrill, your grilled food sure tastes funny. Then why aren't you laughing, Mad Dog? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Uh, we're having a great time uh, grilling with spirits. Did you uh, know there's spirits here, Merrill? Oh, I love, I'm not scared of spirits, that's <laughs> for sure. I love spirits. We have Paul, the distiller of, of the, uh, the vodkas and the gins and the cherry vodkas with us. Paul, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how does this contraption work? I thought it was a telescope a little bit earlier. I thought we saw this in Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Well, <laughs> the still is actually quite easy to operate. Um, the, the spirit starts in here first. Okay. Um, after that's heated, it goes up through the column, uh, entering from the bottom and entering these plates. And that's where it's refined. So um, as it comes across the condenser, that's where it's back liquefied. Okay. And then it's actually vodka at this point. So from this point on, it's vapor. In here okay. and in the condenser, it's liquid. And is, is, is vodka grain? Vodka is grain. Vodka okay. is distilled from grain. It can either be wheat, which ours is wheat. Okay. Uh, you could do corn. You could do a mix of corn and rice. There's yeah. a lot of different really? potential to do and anything. And the, the most important vodka, though, the most other just made out of wheat? Yes. Is it? Okay. There's a few potato vodkas okay. out there sure. still. Well, that's yeah. what we brought up, you know, the old yeah. Russian potato vodka type yeah. of thing. And yeah. the old tub, you know, making mashed potatoes and vodka at the same time. If you, you know? taste them all together, mm -hmm. they'll all taste different. And yeah. oh, it'll have a unique product. Yeah. Now, now what, what makes a premium vodka? What, what's considered a premium vodka? You took vodka? my question. That's what I wanted to ask. Well, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's this still. This still right here makes really? the premium vodka. Yeah. Because so, it's so a smaller. Like small batches? Right. Small batch, exactly. Because, because Meryl and I appreciate small batch, and we know that the flavor is premium. Right. It's artisan. It's oh, artisan. Awesome. It's artisan. Yeah. We're going to be artisans before we <laughs> so over so with like, No, no we, we're located here in Carlsville, and to pinpoint it, we're at Door Peninsula Winery, the, the original winery. Mm -hmm. and, and, and tell us about the tasting campus. Uh, right above us is the tasting room for the distillery. Sure. So we're all in the same building. They're, they're separated by two different floors. Um, so you, you're able to taste the vodka, the cherry vodka, and the gin when right. you come in. Um, if you want a drink, you walk over to the Bistro 42 restaurant. You can uh -huh. be served a drink there. And we're going to be grilling the antipasto that yeah. they do. Not that the, the same one they serve, but they serve a, a delicious antipasto in, in the Bistro. Sure. Yeah. And from there, you can go into the winery, which is the other yes. tasting yes. that you were mentioning. Okay. And this is uh, our wines, our beers from Shipwreck Brewery. Right. They're also sampled there. And so you're right, it is a tasting campus, all on the same property. Well, we're going to talk with, with Rob in just a little bit, too, and we'll ask him the, the hours that people can show up and, and, how, and how it's all done and the, the tasting of, uh, of Spencer and those fine folks that keep the little samples of food yeah. going. But, Paul, you got a batch of wine going? Appreciate it. Thank all you right, so thanks, much, Paul. sir. Thanks, Have gentlemen. A good day. All right. Take care. Helps us off there, sir. All right. Now we're going to do a little shrimp on the grill, oh, marinated shrimp, shrimp. ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to do a little Hispanic, a little salt of the border using the wonderful uh, Door County Distillery Vodka again. And simply the shrimp, and I'm going to take some limes, and I'm going to squeeze lime over the shrimp, Ooh. put the lime in the shrimp. And shake it all about. You put now, the lime in the shrimp. These are the Minnesota shrimp. hot yellow peppers. Minnesota hot yellow peppers. And I'm going to add some of those to the top. And those are rather Ooh. spicy. A little bit of Mexican uh, uh, oregano. And, of course, the main ingredient is the, the distillery's vodka. So I'm going to pour vodka over the top of that. And remember, we marinate for about four, two to four hours, two to eight hours, just to give it a little character, personality, and flavor to the cuts of meats. Very good. Well, I dished up a wonderful salad over here, sir. I got some uh, golden plump chicken breast, which I went ahead and sliced up. Sounds good. Some Door County cherries, tomatoes, Ooh. onions. Um, obviously, there's lettuce, and you know what? Blue cheese. Right? I know. Good blue cheese. I'm going to make a balsamic dressing, which is very easy to you do. You do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go wipe my hands okay, off. Okay, I'll let hold you on. do that. Now, you know, Bobby Flay will go ahead and use a blender, but I use a jar, you know. You don't need electricity for this. I've got approximately about a tablespoon. It was a mason. Yeah. i got a tablespoon of sugar in here. 
about a tablespoon of garlic. This is very easy to do. I'm going to use half and half. I'm going to go ahead and use cream? the cream. No, the and a distillery. <laughs> yeah, cream and a distillery. <laughs> Fat Louis garlic olive oil, which is great. I'm going to use about a quarter of a cup in there, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing with Fat Louis balsamic vinegar. Mm. All right, very all this balsamic vinegar is just fantastic. And I got the sugar, and I've got the yes, uh, dear. Yes, got the sugar. Got the garlic. Some fresh lemon that I'm going to squeeze in there. Now, see, on mine, you don't need electricity. You use a jar. I'm going to put a little lime in there, too. Yeah, go ahead. What the heck? I mean, you can add anything on here. Some pepper, grandma hazels. And then all what you're going to do is just shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. That's going to be delicious. Shake, shake, shake. And pour that right over the salad dressing, and it comes out very good every time. I mean, the flavor. And remember, I use a taste test. Can I, can I do something? Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. Someday. Uh-oh. Uh, probably because of the sugar. Oh, I got a vapor lock. <laughs> I just got a vapor lock. I want to do an injectable using the vodka someday. I want to do yeah. an injectable using the vodka in chickens and, and porks and roasts and stuff like that. I bet you it'd be just delicious. Mmm. This is going to be great. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to be right back and, and we're going to dig into the salad and we're going to dig into the shrimp. The shrimp I'm going to put on skewers, by the way, in about four to five minutes on both sides at the most after I marinate them. We're going to talk with Rob and find out a little bit more about the distillery here. So we'll be right back with the grilling of the antipasto. Ah, the grilling of the antipasto, ladies yes, and gentlemen. Yes, sir. We'll be right back. Yep. View past episodes of our show by going to maddogandmerrill.com and click on Midwest Grilling. That's right, we do have a fat de Louis here, a fat de Louis. What you're, do you think? That's not too bad. So you're yeah. Gary Merrill playing the part of Fat Louis. No, I'm Fat Louis playing the part of Gary Merrill. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do a lot better at Gary Merrill than Fat Louis. You know, Mad Dog and Fat Louie here. Yes, and, yes. Uh, we're in beautiful Egg Harbor today in Door County, and, and we're at Fat Louie's Olive Oil Company. We're having a great time. And in, a, in the 30 years that we've been doing outdoor grilling, uh, over the last course of the few years, we're so privileged to have more diversified products. That's very fine point, sir, which is true. Can you imagine years ago you just had oil? You just had oil, you had lard, you had everything else, yeah. but now you have gorgeous uh, flavor-infused olive oils, vinaigrettes, balsamic vinaigrettes that are fantastic. Uh, we are at Fat Louis in, in Egg Harbor. Uh, you can also get Fat Louis oils and vinaigrettes and other fine products uh, places. Like In fact, just so you know, in Egg Harbor, yep. you, you, there's two stops in Egg Harbor. Kitty corner from us, and we're staring at it, and we're getting awfully thirsty. And I can't wait either. Is the uh, Shipwreck <laughs> Brewery. The Shipwreck Brewery. Uh, we did a segment from there. We did a whole yes. show, in fact. You guys watched it. What are we saying? Uh, and, and, and so you can go over there and have a little be be beverage. Stop back here. Sample the gorgeous vinaigrettes, uh, the nice oils. Uh, they got they got a hot room sauce, a hot sauce. I know. It's great to see the selection like that. You know, I collect hot sauces. You collect hot sauces. It's nice to go to a place where you find different hot sauces that nobody else has. Uh, Two that I have had, and I've never tried the the Cajun Power, fantastic stuff. I've had that a couple of times. I've got that in there, and of course, my favorite is Mad Dog's Inferno. Why would you like that? <laughs> and uh, you can also get the products, by the way, at the Cherry Hut in Door County, Door Peninsula Winery in Sturgeon Bay, Cooper's Corner in Fish Creek, and I'm going to miss one in there. That's about it. Here, Fat Louis in Egg Harbor, that's for sure. Uh, Door County's richest and most aromatic oils. And, and let me tell you, you always remember that fresh is best. Fresh is best. It makes best. a very big, big importance on that. I know you're going to be doing salad. I have no idea what you're going to do. But if you use the top quality olive oil, it will make a big, big difference. And Trust me. Over the course of the last couple of years, we've had the chance to reinforce flavors. And that's what we're going to do today. All right. I'm going to do a, a, a warm pasta salad using the lime olive oil and limes here. Okay. So we're gonna take, I cooked up some nice pasta there, and we're gonna do a squeeze limes over the top of that pasta. Imagine we, that. And, and we're gonna set the grill for a nice medium direct heat, and I'm just gonna slow cook these for about seven, eight minutes. Any ingredients as you prefer. I love, I love zucchini in the salads. Uh, you gotta have some green olives. We have the green olives in there. And these are the, uh, uh, help, help, help me out, Jamie. Say the word. Manzanillo. These are the manzanillo that you, everybody's had. You can go on the inside of Fat Louis oh, Olive Oil yeah. Company here, and they got the gorgeous oils, the olive oils made with this. Mm. Uh, but those are the olives that everybody has at the store. Uh, green beans in there, green peppers in there. One more squeeze and a lime over the top. Now to reinforce all that, 
Uh, we have the lime olive oil, Fat Louis, and I'm mm. gonna pour that over the top of that. We're just gonna, can you stir that up with your spoon while I get the rest of my ingredients? I uh, certainly can. Thank I could you. Stir that. What a big difference this does make. You know, the olive oil and the flavor, we do a lot of catering and people wanna know, boy, how come salads taste so good? It's the quality of olive oil that we're using. And look at how nice that glistens. Isn't that delicious? Put that on the grill and let's get a cook. All right, all right, you got her, you got her. You need that spoon there? You lose in your, you lose in your accent. Oh, accident. I, I, let me put it on the grill, hey? Thank you. Hey, that sounds like Wisconsin. Fat Louis got an A to it, okay. Okay, here's the next olive oil right. we're using today. It's a roasted onion cilantro. The roasted onion cilantro, one of my favorites, besides the beautiful chipotle, uh, the garlic that's fantastic on pork, on chicken, on beef, uh, lemon on seafood, mm. you can't go wrong, and we had in, in a fig. Uh, fig in, in marinades, uh, fig just rich, rich layers in the marinades. It's just gorgeous. Or in salads, the fig one is, is one of our favorites. Did you know the fig's a hot item this year? Is it really? That's a big thing. Figs in general are the hot item. If you look at it, that's a big thing. And where can you get fig olive oil? At the Fat de Louis. At the Fat de Louis. Yes. Okay, so we're using the uh, roasted onion and cilantro. Okay. So, of course, we have, and it's kind of windy out here today. Really? Yeah, a little bit. I would have never known. So I'm going to add beautiful cilantro inside of there to reinforce the flavors. Okay. I've got green top onions in the pasta that's already Ooh. been cooked. So we're going to do green top onions over the top of that. And before this blows away, Mer Fat Louis. I'm gonna take care of that for you. Look at this little vanish right behind the back and there again. Why me? Oh, look at that. Why it's all gone, me? ladies and gentlemen. It's because I'm a fat to Louis. And we're, I'm do, just and a we're, and we're gonna do some crab over the top of that. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Uh, two of our favorites, and, and, I, and I, I have to admit, uh, the Sunset Splash from Door Peninsula Winery has apple, cherry, and grape in there. So it's a blending of three gorgeous flavors. Ooh. What a gorgeous sound. Uh, so we're going to add a splash of Sunset Splash to give it some extra flavor. Not too much because... Oh, save that. I'm sure the wind doesn't blow that over. Savor. Save it. Savor. <laughs> oh, and that's all right. Roasted onion and, and, and cilantro over the top of our salad mm. here. And we're gonna simply blend that over, blend that together. We're gonna warm the salads up uh, just to, to a nice little temperature. We don't wanna overcook them, that's for sure. You can do them indirect for about 20, 30 minutes. Medium direct heat, 10, 12 minutes, just to blend them through a little bit. Get those flavors kind of infusing together. Uh, and it's gonna be delicious. So the next time you're in Door County, ladies and gentlemen, hey, tell you what, they got some, they're open seven days a week. Seven days a week. You can go online at fatlouisoliveoil.com, fatlouisoliveoil.com. You can you. sample wines, vinegars, oils right here in Egg Harbor. Uh, and, and let me tell you, they're coming out and they have it, they have it, it's two certified organic uh, flavors. One's an extra virgin olive oil and the one's a balsamic vinaigrette. So for you purists out there that wanna have certified organic, I'll tell you what, right here's the place to get it, let me tell you this that. This is the place to come to. Thanks, Fat. Thank you, Louie. No, I'm Fat Louie. You folks have a great one. We're gonna warm these salads up, and I'll tell you what, we're gonna take them on the inside and serve them, so hurry up. Ooh, that's <laughs> gonna be a good mic. If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com, and don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Well, I'll tell you what, we've had a great time here so far today up in Door County at Door Peninsula Winery and the Distillery, and uh, we're with Rob. Rob, thank you so much for inviting us up thank here you. today. We do appreciate yeah, it. Yes, thank Thanks you, sir. The coming, vodka guys. wine's appreciate very good, very here. good. We thought we'd move out a, a tad bit in the parking lot to see the gorgeous renovation behind us. Why don't you tell us a tad bit about the renovation this year? Well, at the end of October last year, we decided to add a distillery. Uh, it's two levels. We're distilling vodka, cherry vodka, and gin right now. We look to do a lot more things down in the future. Some brandy, maybe some whiskey. Ooh. We renovated the inside of the winery. We doubled the size of our tasting bar. Yep. Uh, we try to keep a little bit of the old schoolhouse in the front. Uh, we got the old bell from the Carlsville element Elementary School. And um, we also added a deck here to Bistro 42 to kind of give some outdoor seating to that restaurant. Now that's open for lunch and for dinner. Correct, open at 11 a.m. every day. And the, and, the, and the winery for tours and the winery for sampling is open? Well, the winery is open 9 to 6 during the summer, 9 to 5 during the winter. And we have tours every hour starting at 10 o'clock running on the hour till four o'clock. Every day of the week, we're open 363 days a year, so. Oh, 363 days a year, That sounds like we could do a lot of holiday shopping here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure can, sure can. Yeah. We got all kinds of things. We have gift baskets, we do shipping, we ship all over the country. We got wine, we have beer, we have 
all kinds of fine gourmet foods. We got a lot of your products also. That's right, Mad Dog and Merrill's signature sauces and spices are available here also. Correct. And then go online at dcwine.com, dcwine.com, and they can order online gifts and wines for themselves. Sure can. They can ship to themselves or to relatives for gifts. And yeah. seasonal wines coming up in October. You have anything for Halloween? Yes, wine? we have Halloween wine. Thanks for asking. Oh, wine. Yes, like that. that's a spiced apple wine. We suggest you drink that warm. That's an excellent Halloween wine. And then we also have Christmas wines. We have three okay. Christmas wines. We have a mulled Christmas, a red Christmas, and a white Christmas that we do a lot of uh, the, those bottlings in the Christmas time. Exactly. And, 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 and off to the side with your, with your vodkas, uh, do you have a, a specialty drink that you might serve or are they served at the Bistro? Bistro has all kinds of martinis with our vodkas. Yep. I'm a screwdriver guy, so that's what I like. <laughs> you look like a screwdriver guy. Uh, I can see that with a little straw sticking out where he just stirs that and then Let's sit down and taste and say, I'll have another one, please. Yep, yep. You're my <laughs> kind of guy. <laughs> Before we get too far away here and, and talking about too many uh, libations, spirits, uh, we did, you, you serve at the Bistro. You have a wonderful uh, antipasto. And, 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 and I created a similar, I think it's probably the first time it's ever been grilled, but it's going to be kind of warm here. But we have the wonderful peppers on there. We have the artichokes, the olives, uh, the salami, and we just browned those up, slow cooked them, based them with uh, some of your vodka, garlic, and parsley and oils, and they turned out delicious. The wonderful shrimp that we did was marinated more spicy with the vodkas with some uh, uh, oregano and hot peppers mm. and some of your great chipotle oil that we put over the top of that from Fat Louis. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. And it looks delicious over the top over there. But I'll tell you what, we, we appreciate you bringing us into your facility here. And you also have the Shipwreck Brewery. We do. Downtown Egg Harbor, we have yep. Shipwreck Brew, Brew Pub. They're open all year round, too. We yep. make six handcrafted ales yeah. there, and we do seasonal beers there, too. We do a pumpkin beer for Halloween up oh, there. Oh, I'll have to try that. fan yep. of your porter and cherry wheat, though. That's for sure. And Coop, Cooper's Corner. Cooper's Corner up in Fish Creek. Yep. Fine dining restaurant, indoor, outdoor seating. Uh, that also has a barrel room attached to it. Um, that has uh, Fat Louie's olive oil in there. Um, we also have uh, Fat Louie's olive oil, downtown Egg Harbor. <laughs> Absolutely. Can't forget about that. Yep. Fresh is best. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, fresh is best is always with Mad Dog and Merrill. We do appreciate you folks coming along on a little tour of Door County here today. And uh, we'll see you folks next time on Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Thanks, Rob. Hey, happy grilling, everybody. Thanks, grilling. guys. Thank you, Thank you much. Thanks appreciate it there, sir. Let's dig in, huh? Yes, All right. let's go. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.